In this video, we are going to discuss about the router DHCP configuration and how this DHCP configuration is configured on the router. We will be looking into it practically in the packet tracer. So before we start up with the router DHCP configuration, we will be discussing about the basic information about DHCP as we all know about DHCP use UDP 6.7 and 6.8 ports. It has a messaging system and the communication between this DHCP server and DHCP client so that you see these messaging system messages will be used. So we'll just discuss about these messages which are DHCP discovery which is a broadcast message, DHCP offer which is a unicast message and DHCP request which is also a broadcast, DHCP acknowledgement which is a unicast address and DHCP negative acknowledgement which is also a unicast message here. So that Hence, uh, there is a client sends a broadcast DHCP discovery message that mentions that it need an IP address. The DHCP servers are replies with configuration that offers to the client by the DHCP offer unicast message. So after the DHCP client sends a broadcast DHCP request message to the network with the transaction ID of the first DHCP server which sends the DHCP offer then the other DHCP server understands that offer the client wants to and use the DHCP server that has related to transaction ID. So lastly, the DHCP server sends a unicast DHCP acknowledgement message to the DHCP client that mentions the IP assignment so that it successfully done on it or it will refuse the message named as DHCP NACK that means DHCP negative acknowledgement. So to configure routers DHCP we must also follow some basic steps here. For that configuration, the important point is the broadcast domains. So if we have only one broadcast domain in our topology, so we can clearly see this is the one broadcast domain and then our work will be more basic else you we must go for the help of the IP helper address command. This command will help us to convince the router and make it pass the broadcast packets. So this is the best example of one broadcast domain and our one broadcast domain topology you can see there is a router that will carry our DHCP server role beside its routing functionalities and there is a switch off for the PCs here. So you can see this router is connected to the switch and the switch is connected to three PCs. On router Firstly, we will give an IP address to the router interface, then is connected to the switch. Secondly, that we will create a DHCP pool name as IPD. In this pool, we will mention the IP address that will be given to the DHCP clients. After that, we will assign the router's interface address as a default router address for the clients. Okay, so we'll be going into the configuring terminal here for the router. So this is the router terminal CLI. So we are in the interface terminal. So we exit it to again normally come in. So we type in config terminal. Okay, we entered into the config terminal. So we give the interface. We can see which interface to configure for the router. We see the interface gigabit 0 slash 0 here. Ethernet 0 slash 0. We entered into the interface. We give the IP address for this interface the address as 192.168.10.1 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and we type no shutdown So for that you can clearly see this interface is up and also 
we will be looking about the configure terminal for this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and now we type in exit and we create the IP DHCP pool name as IPD you can see now we have entered into the DHCP configuration pool and now we have to give the network address as network 192.168.10.0 with the subnet mask as 255.255.255.0 so when you type enter enter the default router name default router I was hyphen router and the address is 192.168.10.1 okay now you type exit and now again into the configuration mode we type IP DHCP excluded address given the address 192.168.10.1 to 192.168.10.10 in the same way we give IP DHCP excluded address one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot twelve to one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot fourteen so after this configuration so we can check the IP address of the PC zero we will see the IP address and because if it is the first available address in the DHCP pool okay so close it we'll go to PC0 so it is in the static we change it to you see this the gateway the IP address which we have given as 168.10.1 the gateway of the router is clearly the, the the IP address of the router is clearly given as the gateway in PC 0 here so it is clear that the DHCP pool we are created is clearly coming here with the IP address which is in the pool so we'll go with the DHCP here so we'll just try for PC 1 as well when you click on DHCP you can see the gateway is popped up as 192.168.10.1 so this is about the router DHCP configuration